Welcome everybody to this series, Matt by its history. In this fourth episode, we will talk about a way, a geometrical way, following Newton and Leibniz to find the derivative of functions such as arc tangent and arc sine, the reciprocal function of tangent and sine. Here in this square, if x increases, say delta x, delta x is this little, then the area of this square, y equals x square, increases say the increment of the area will denoted by delta y and delta y will be this and this and the third part is this small square so we will have the delta y equals 2x delta x plus delta x all squared. From this equality, we obtain equals 2x plus. This quantity might be neglected. which allow Newton to note that y over x is 2x and the ultimate ratio following Newton will be denoted by Leibniz as to be dy over dx equals 2x, which is the derivative, as we know, as we know. Observe that in this circle of radius 1, and this is a tangent to a circle at this point, now x is the length of this segment, and y will be this arc of circle. The first observation is that tangent tangent y because the radius is 1 it equals to x and so from here one can find y in terms of x y will be which will not by arctangent x. It is billetive in this case. Now, if x, if x increases, increases by delta x, say this segment, then y will increase also by which will denote by this r here delta one this r and our objective is to find how to explicit the ultimate ratio delta y over delta x this is our problem. <coughs> Using geometry in, clever, in a clever way leads Newton to discover analysis. In this situation, we have by Pythagoras' theorem that all the this length equals square root of x squared plus 1. 
using the fact that the two triangles OBC is similar to triangle ODE, one find that BC over delta X will be equal to 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. In other, in other words, this c is equal to delta x. Denote this equality by 1. Now, the more relevant step for Newton that involves geometry and analysis is to prove that the two triangles BCF, the small one, and the right triangle OBG are similar. In fact, observe that this angle is the same as here and there is its opposite, okay? And they have a right angle and as delta y is infinitely small, we can consider that this angle is right, okay? And in other part, we can also consider that this angle is the same as here for the, the same reason such uh, knowing that B and F are the same point when delta Y is infinitely small. Then now as a consequence of this lemma, one of time BC over of B which equals one is equals to BF over OG. But this length is equal to 1 over square plus 1. The two triangles here are similar. Then we will obtain BC is equal to BF times square root of x square plus 1. And call this the equality 2. Now, combining combining the two equality 1 and 2, please finish the final formula. I remind you that the equality 1 was the following BC equals delta x over square root x square plus 1. And the equality 2, we substitute BF by delta y. Then one has delta y equals delta x over x squared plus 1. And then delta y over delta x equals 1 over x squared plus 1. So by nominating as Newton the ultimate ratio when delta x is infinitely small and using Leibniz notation one has dy over dx equals 1 over x squared plus 1 which terminates the discovery of the derivative of the arctangent function following a geometrical wave Thank you very much for watching and to the next video.